Hey gorgeous darlings, welcome back to my channel. It's DJ Pamela MC. Hugs, hugs, hugs and kisses mwah, to you all. Oh, I hope you're all having an amazing day full of smiles and lots of sunshine. Oh, I've got to give you an updated vlog. Now, ugh, basically I was in hospital all night. Okay. I haven't slept. I, oh, okay. Those of you that don't know, um, I have a serious illness in my spine. There's no cure, right? It's very painful, very painful. And now, I don't even know how to update you with all of this because it's just so much. Um, so you can see I've got my hospital tag on still. And I've got to go back to the hospital pain clinic because that's where I'm an outpatient with the hospital pain clinic because they're going to fix up my pain medication because I'm in horrible, I won't say terrible, but horrible pain. It's excruciating. Um, and now like something's happening with the nerves, like, you know, my thing, my, oh, that's crazy. My hands are going numb, tingles, like, you know, <sighs> to be home um you know i haven't slept so it's exhausting anyway in a few hours i've got to go to the pain clinic what is it um, yeah a couple of hours i might try and have a power nap after i do this vlog um just 20 minutes and then when i come home i'll just you know because i need yeah the pain clinic to oh it's crazy and then now we're realizing that something else is wrong in my body that is not yet diagnosed on top of the spine condition so <sighs> that's very um that's crazy hey mm, oh, just, my brain is just fried from all of this you know i can't believe it i can't believe this is happening to me and i don't want to cry i just gotta i don't know so now my neurosurgeon has, um, due to all my symptoms and that, uh, what is it? I now have to see another specialist. So I've got to see, they're referring me to a neurologist. And I've also got to have a brain scan. Mm. So um, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Oh, I forgot. Sorry. Have a cup of tea with me, please. I'm really getting into the different different types of tea. Um, never used to drink tea. I hated cups of tea, to be honest. Not hate, you know, but I wasn't into it. So today, and it's my cute little cat cup. That was a gift given to me when I did nursing years ago. God bless. I hope you're all well, seriously. I love you all so much. I need you to know that. And just, just always be kind to yourself, you know, that's important and be kind to others and let your friends and loved ones know and family how much you care and how much you love them because you never know what's going to happen in life, you know, that's a true reality. Um, I never imagined myself becoming ill with this condition I have um, and there's no cure for this condition in my spine so it's just just mental just doing my head in anyway I'm gonna switch because I don't want to cry so I today my cup of tea is it's um matcha green tea traditional so I'm having a cup of this okay but I have to say there's a new tea out excuse me um, I'm going to paint my nails as well and I'm going to spray some perfume on me because I uh, don't feel so fabulous. Right. Um, I will cut the hospital tag off, excuse me, after I get back from the hospital pain clinic. Uh, mm. So yes, um, obviously I need stronger pain medication. At the hospital, they did give me 
a little bit of pain medication, like strong pain medication, um, but the pain clinic need to do my medication because, you know what I mean, I'm on some full-on medication and it kind of, it's not good to mix it with other things and I don't want to do that anyway. I don't want to take anything I don't have to, you know, unless it's absolutely necessary. I don't want to touch any kind of drug and all that stuff, you know, not into it. Mm. So, ah, just sitting here, the pain is horrible. Mm. Like shooting pain in my spine, lower spine, and the sciatic nerve going down my legs, ugh, down my arms, crazy, crazy. But I'm going to figure it out. I'm not going to stop. You know, one, one thing I've got to tell all of you, all right? When you're, when you're not well, when you feel, all right, believe me, when you feel something's wrong in your body, in your body anywhere, listen to your gut instinct, seriously, and go to the doctors, go to hospital, you know, and you get it checked and see a good doctor because there's not many, some doctors, and I don't know, there's a lot, I guess there's a shortage here in Australia of doctors, hey, worldwide, probably, you know, definitely. So I've noticed here the system here, the public health system has changed dramatically, seriously. And there's training doctors and they're not supervised. And I don't care what the hospitals and all that think. You can hate me. I don't care. Because we're human beings and if someone's coming in and has something happening in their body, you don't just say to them, and this happened to me tonight, oh, it's the morning now, oh, sorry, okay, after me getting four Ubers to get to the hospital, wasting my money, right, which obviously, when you're not working, do I have a money tree? So I know I'm talking all over the place, but this is important, right? First of all, doctors, nurses, have empathy for someone coming in sick with whatever their issue, not issue, whatever their situation is, right? I don't want to say issue because that's rude. Have, have a heart. Show a bit of empathy, you know? If you don't like your job, quit. Don't do it. You know what I mean? If you don't know how to have empathy for others, you don't belong in that industry. You just don't. Seriously, you don't. And it's wrong. And people can die due to you being neglig what's it called? Negligent. True story. Okay? So listen to the patients. And if you don't know the situation, don't pretend you're going to talk to your <laughs> superior because there's no one there right because you're short staffed and I know don't do that because it's not right okay anyway that person will never watch this so you know maybe one day maybe if I uh, go to the news and yeah <laughs> but no anyway oh god oh god, oh god. alright oh so I was going to show you so I wear I have not being rude, sorry. All right, pain patches. And then this morning I've had a steroid injection because I have a tear in the muscle. So I had to have an injection. And you know what? I was so scared. It didn't hurt at all. It didn't hurt. And and it's actually a tiny needle, thank God. So I've still got pain, obviously, and it takes about a week to, for the steroids to kick in. But apparently it's got something in it that numbs me for a little bit, you know, to help. All right, let me see. Let me see. It's a bit rude. It's a bit rude, darling. Oh, all right, pain. <laughs> ah, all right. Oh, terrible pain. Okay, so as I was saying, when you know and you feel because it's your body and it's your soul within this body that you're given, 
right? It's your vehicle while on being on this earth. Don't let a doctor say, send you away and go, oh no, nothing's wrong with you. It's just this or that. Another example. Recently I had, when was it? What's that? Oh, gardening. Okay. Recently I had a, a surgery procedure, right? With this, on my, my tummy, I saw a little lump, right? I was trying on bikinis. And I'm like, huh? That's not normal. It was near the belly button. Anyway, I thought nothing of it. But then a few months later, and I had a little pain, but I just thought, mm, you know, it wasn't anything full on. Oh, not like this pain. And, I, and then like a month later, I'm looking again at a different bikini because I, I love bikinis. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I love looking at myself. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> somebody has to. Oh, yeah. And then I, I noticed it was bigger. And then I had, the pain was kind of getting a bit more intense, but it was still bearable. You know what I mean? So I went to the doctor. I said, look, doctor, this, what is it? He's like, oh, nothing. Don't worry. It's just fatty tissue. That's what he said to me. Okay. And I don't, I no longer see this doctor, um, due to this. So he didn't do anything. He goes, nothing. You're fine. So I went home and I was in pain and I'm like, no, no, it's something is wrong. So then I went back the next day. I said, you know what, doctor? I said, I want an ultrasound, please, on this area. I'd like, I need an ultrasound done. So sometimes you've got to take things into your own hands because if you don't and you've got something serious wrong in your body and, and, and there's healthcare, pe health carers send you home, you can die. And it's happening. It's happening out there. You can die due to their negligence of not giving you proper care and treatment, right? Anyway, so I went and had an ultrasound, and guess what? I had, what's it, an ambiblical hernia. Mm, true story. See, and I needed surgery. So, so always seriously listen to your body, listen, and you know, and don't give up, and don't make healthcare professionals think you're mental. All right, don't. Ugh. So with my the spine condition, oh my god, it took so long to, to find out what was going on, and this I was diagnosed two thousand and nineteen now. Okay, and my it's turned my life upside down. Seriously, it has. Oh, so I try not to think about it. Um, anyway, so that's an update. So now I need to find out why I am getting all this nerve. I don't know what you call it. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, obviously now I have to do, what is it? See a neurologist who specialize with the brain, spinal cord and nerves and all that. And then also got to have a brain scan. Mmm, fabulous, huh? Yeah. My life is so fabulous. Ugh. Mm. So I haven't, yeah, I haven't slept though. This evening, tonight, I will be in bed early. Um, oh, goodness. <sighs> very painful, very painful, darlings. But I keep smiling and I keep shining mm, because you got a soldier on. But yes, like I said, you know your body, you know, because we're the one living in our body, our own bodies, all of us. Never just go home and say, oh, that, you know, you know, and you'll know the difference between a doctor that know what they're doing and a doctor that doesn't, Okay. Okay, and no offense to doctors, nurses, and all that. You're amazing, specialists, rah, rah, rah. But yeah, when you have an illness and you're constantly seeing doctors, <laughs> you know the difference between a good one and one that's not so great and should go back to training. All right, I'm not talking about that now. So, oh, the pain, the pain, the pain. Oh my goodness. So, how are you all? <laughs> Oh my god 
I hope you're all having an amazing day, seriously. Um, oh. And if you're feeling a bit down or something, do something nice for yourself. Even just, if it's the sunshine, go sit in the sunshine. Just sit in the sunshine and let the sun beam down on you, you know, the rays of the sun. If it's raining, sit and listen to the rain. Maybe read a book, you know. Um, watch a movie. Watch a funny movie. Funny movies are good, you know. I love Rebel Wilson. She's hilarious, her movies. <laughs> okay. Also, coming up, I'm going to be doing some challenges now. All right. So I've had a few people challenge me to do things. Oh, I've got to paint my nails. Make me. Oof. So one, what was it? The lemonade. Okay. One <laughs> is uh, the lemonade challenge. So you've got to drink a bottle of lemonade without burping so this I, i'm going to be embarrassed doing this but i'm going to do it okay so to the subscriber out there that wants me to do that i'm going to do that for you okay so bear with me yeah bear with me oh my gosh <laughs> oh and also another challenge which i did a short on it's going to be funny I went to the supermarket and I didn't know these were even in Australia. Okay. And guess what? And this is from the USA. <gasps> yes. It's a Van Holten's hot pickle. And this one's the hot and spicy flavor. Okay. Made in the USA. I'm so excited. Well, not really because. <laughs> okay. Can you see it? Oh, goodness. It's big. Look, it's big. It's that size. Oh, it is big. Okay, and it's got juice in it. Pickle juice. So, I don't know. I've never had one of these, okay? So, I am going to do this challenge. And I have to say, Tammy Bilton, over there in America, I challenge you to do this. Right? I challenge you. Tammy Milton, right? I'll put her link down below. So you go follow her channel. She's such lovely, lovely lady. Very lovely um, and funny, you know. So I hope you get to see this, Tammy. You got to do it. And her, what's her? Oh, her uh, um, what's it? YouTube name channel is at Tammy Milton. I'm pretty sure. But I'll, I'll put the link down below. So you guys, go follow her. Support her. You know what I mean? So click subscribe on her channel. Um, it's free to subscribe. So this is going to be funny. <laughs> oh, dear. So now I think the pain medication from the hospital is wearing off. Ooh. All right. I'm trying to think about it. So, yeah. <laughs> Can I do it? That is the thing. I'm like. Can I do this? <laughs> oh, if it's like a McDonald's pickle, no, I'll throw up. No, I hate that. Ugh. Ugh. I remember a little girl. No, Ugh. yuck. Ugh. So I don't know what kind of pickle, and I do love pickles, but not all pickles. Do you know what I mean? Seriously. <laughs> so this this video will be funny. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up. I just have to kind of, I've got it in the fridge. So I've just got to like work myself up to um, to actually do it. <laughs> so that'll be funny. That'll be funny. I always love to make you all laugh, hey? You know? We all need more laughter in this world. Seriously. Uh, so, uh, so what I'm going to do, obviously I'm going to book in physio. I need my physio again, uh, of course. Uh, and what else? Uh, yeah, that's about it for now. But I just wanted to update you all. Hey, so seriously, I'm determined to find out what what other illness is in my body. And even yeah, the neurosurgeon today she stated yes, it's something other than you know what I mean, my spine condition. So. Is something else happening because it's to do with the nerves and the nerves are to do to do with the spine the brain and all that blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean oh so yeah so that will be 
something that I will be investigating and I want to know I want to know like you, you don't just send someone home from hospital and and you know what I mean like the neurosurgeon lady she's like oh we just deal with the spine you know what I mean so when she said that, I said look that's fine and that's amazing you're brilliant but it's very obvious that something else is not diagnosed in my body on top of my spine condition and she agreed she goes yes I agree so this has only just started happening like I don't know the past two three weeks or something but it's just getting worse so like it hurts me that's why I'm doing this because it's pain my they hurt my hands hurt you know what I mean all right so anyway I'll, I'll keep you updated on that on my illness on that you know on the situation but I'm gonna I'm a fighter I'm strong I'm a soldier I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep doing my YouTube channel do you know what I mean so if one day my videos suddenly stop which I hope it's not you know <laughs> for a while but if my you know videos stop you'll know that I'm not able to do videos or I've, I've passed away or, you know. Ooh, yes. True story. So, um, mm. oh, my gosh. See how I keep moving around? Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I'm excited to do this. Are you serious? And Tammy Bilton, I challenge you also to do the lemonade challenge without burping so what you do just get a bottle of lemonade a smaller bottle you got to sit there and drink it okay i've got to do mine i'll do it i have to get a lemonade bottle first like like a yeah the size so it's gonna be funny mm. <laughs> because okay everyone burps you know what i mean but i don't burp often so this is going to be weird. And I'm embarrassed to burp in front of people. Mm, I don't burp in front of people. You know what I mean? Mm, yuck. So I don't know. So anyway, get ready for that. I love you all. Um, I'm actually going to go now and paint my little toenail toenails. Oh my God. I just said that. I'm going to paint my toenails. Well, I can paint my toenails too. I'm going to paint my little fingernails, which are healed. Yay. Remember they were damaged from long acrylics. I want to get them put back on, but I'm just going to deal with my health for now. You know, I need to deal with my health right now. Yeah, totally. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go paint my fingernails. I'm going to watch the news to see what's happening around the world. And I'm going to watch The Voice. Are you watching The Voice? Oh, my God. This year, there were so many talented like singers like and 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 those that play instruments and sing phenomenal Woo! it's gonna be hard to choose a winner seriously mm. so that's what's happening <laughs> thank you for being here with me and oh i'm sorry i'm just in so much pain it's crazy Ugh. Um, please click like on this video, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know how you are, hey. And some of my, my lovely fam family, my friends, you're my friends, you're my family, remember? So, hello, I haven't seen some of you for a while. So, where's the message? You know, I haven't seen you on my channel. So, I hope you're all okay and doing well, you know what I mean? And just know reach out reach out i'm here we're all here together as a family you know what i mean yeah so i love you all keep smiling oh, oh gosh keep smiling i'm gonna stretch a bit oh my god keep smiling <laughs> and i shall be back with much more i love you all hugs happy weekend oh it's not the weekend it's gonna be the weekend soon Stay tuned for more. Love you all.